28 young men bath by the shore 28 young men and all so friendly 28 years of womanly life and all so lonesome she owns the fine house by the rise of the bank she hides handsome and richly dressed aft the blinds of the window which of the young men does she like the best ah the homeliest of them is beautiful to her where are you off to lady for i see you you splash in the water there yet stay stock still in your room dancing and laughing along the beach came the 29th paddler the rest did not see her but she saw them and loved them the beards of the young man glistered with wet it ran from their long hair little streams passed all over their bodies an unseen hand also passed over their bodies it descended tremblingly from their temples and ribs the young man float on their backs their white bellies bulge to the sun they do not ask who seizes fast to them they do not know who puffs and declines with pendant and pending arch they do not think whom they sows with spray the butcher boy puts off his killing clothes or sharpens his knife at the stall in the market i loiter enjoying his reparty and his suffer and break down blacksmiths with green and hairy chest environ the anvil each has his mean sledge they are all out there is a great heat in the fire from the cinder strewed threshold i follow their movements the lithe sheer of their waist plays even with their massive arms overhand the hammer swing overhand so slow overhand so sure they do not hasten each man hits in his place the negro holds firmly the reins of his four horses the block swags underneath on its tied over chain the negro that drives the long tray of the stone yard steady and tall he stands poised on one leg on the string piece his blue shirt exposes his ample neck and breast and loosens over his hip band his glance is calm and commanding he tosses the slouch of his hat over from his forehead the sun falls on his crispy hair and mustache falls on the black of his polished and perfect limbs i behold the picture is cute giant and love him and i do not stop there i go with the team also in me the kirshir of life were ever moving backward as well as forward slowing to niches aside and junior pending not a person or object missing absorbing all to myself and for this song oxen that rattle the yoke and chain or halt in the leafy shade what is that you express in your eyes it seems to me more than all the print i have read in my life my trade scares the wood drake and wood duck on my distant and day long tremble they rise together they slowly circle around i believe in those wingled purposes and acknowledge red yellow white playing within me and consider green and violet and the tufted crown international and do not call the tortoise unworthy because she is not something else and the jay in the woods never studied the gamut yet trills pretty well to me and the look of the bee mere seems silliness out of me the wild candor leads his flock through the cool night yah hooks he says 
and sounds it down to me like an invitation. The bird may suppose it mean English, but I listening close, find its purpose and place up there toward the wintry sky. The sharp hoofed moose of the north, the cat on the house seal, the chickadee, the prairie dog. The litter of the grumming sow as they tug as her tears. The brood of the turkey hen and see with her half spread wings. I see in them and myself the same old law. The place of my foot to the earth springs a hundred affections. They scorn the best I can do to relate them. I am enamored of growing outdoors of men that live among cattle or taste of the ocean or woods, of the builders and steerers of ships and the wielders of axes and malls and the drivers of horses. I can eat and sleep with them week in and week out. What is commonest, cheapest, nearest, easiest is me, me going in for my chances, spending for vast returns. Adorning myself to bestow myself on the first that will take me, not asking the sky to come down to my goodwill, scattering it freely forever. The P.O. Cantrello sings in the organ loft, the carpenter dresses his blank, the tongue of his foreplane whistles, its wild ascending lisp. The married and unmarried children ride home to their Thanksgiving dinner. The pilot seizes the kingpin. He heaves down with a strong arm. The maid stands praised in the whale who boat, lands and harpoon are ready. The duck suitor walks by silent and cautious stretches. The deacons are ordained with crossed hands. At the altar, the spinning girl retreats and advances to the hum of the big wheel. The farmer stops by the bars as he walks on a first day loaf and looks at the oats and tree. The lunatic is carried at last to the asylum, a confirmed case. He will never sleep anymore as he did in the cot in his mother's bedroom. The zoo printer with grey head and curled jaws walks at his case. He turns his quid of tobacco while he, while his eyes blur with the manuscript. The malformed limbs are tied to the surgeon's table. What is removed drops hurriedly in a pail. But the quadroon girl is sold at the auction stand. The drunkard nods by the bar room stove. The machinist rolls up his sleeves. The policeman travels his beat. The gatekeeper marks who pass. The young fellow drives the express wagon. I love him, though I do not know him. The half-breed straps on his light boots to compete in the race. The western turkey shooting draws old and young, some lean on their rifles, some sit on logs. Out from the crowd steps the marksman, takes his position, levels his piece. The groups of newly come immigrants cover the wharf or levy. As the woolly pates hoe in the sugar field, the overseer views them from his saddle. The bugle curls in the pearl room, the gentlemen run from their partners, the dancers bow to each other. The youth lies awake in the cedar-roofed garret and harks to the musical rain. The wolverine sets straps on the creek that helps fill the harem. The square wrapped in her yellow hemmed cloth is offering moccasins and bed bags for sale. 
the connoisseur peers along the exhibition gallery with half shut eyes bent sideways as the deck hands make fast the steamboat the plank is thrown for the soul going passengers the young sister holds out the skein while the elder sister wins it off in a ball and stops now and then for the knots the one year wife is recovering and happy having a week ago born her first child the clean haired yankee girl walks with her sewing machine or in the factory or mill the paving man leans on his two handed rammer the reporter sleet flies swiftly over the notebook the sign painter is lettering with blue and gold the canal boy trots on the tow path the bookkeeper counts at his desk the shoemaker waxes his thread the conductor beats time for the band and all the performers follow him the child is baptized the convert is making his first professions the regatta is spread on the bay the race is begun how the white sails sparkle the drover watching his troop sings out to them that would stray the peddler sweats with his back on his back the purchaser higgling about the odd saint the bride unrumples her white dress the minute hand of the clock moves slowly the opium eater reclines with rigid head and just open lips the prostitute draggles her soul hot bonnet pops on her tipsy and pimple neck the crowd laugh at her black cord oaths the men jeer and wink to each other miserable i do not laugh at your oaths nor jeer you the president holding a cabinet council is surrounded by the great secretaries on the piazza walk three matrons stately and friendly with twinned arms the crew of the fish smack pack repeated layers of halibut in the hold the mishrian crosses the plains totting his wares and his cattle as the fair collector goes through the train he keeps notice by the singling of loose change the floor man are laying the floor the tinners are tinning the roof the masons are calling for mortar in single file each soldiering his hard pass onward the laborers seasons pursuing each other the indescribable crowd is gathered it is the 4th of 7th month what salutes of cannon and small arms season pursuing each other the plugger blows the mower mows and the winter grain falls in the ground off on the lakes the pike fisher watches and waits by the hole in the frozen surface the stumps stack stick round the clearing the squatter strikes deep with his axe flat boat man make fast to a dusk near the cottonwood or pecan trees coon seekers go through the reasons of the red river or through those drained by the tennessee or through those of the arkansas torch sign in the dark that hangs on the chatterhooch or altamaha patriarchs sit at supper with sons and grandsons and great grandsons around them in walls of adobe in canvas tents rest hunters and trappers after their day's sport the city sleeps and the country sleeps the living sleep for the time the dead sleep for the time the old husband sleeps by his wife and the young husband sleeps by his wife 
and these tend inward to me and i tend outward to them and such as it is to be of these more or less i am and of these one and all i weave the song of myself